What's poppin' squad? It's your boy Thompson and I'm back with another review. Today, today, man, I had to double back to Dave's Hot Chicken, man. This place, is this something about the chicken that they make here that is just fire? It's outstanding. It's scrumdiddly umptious. <laughs> and I'm here again to see what it do. But today, I'm trying something a little different. Two things I'm trying different. One, I turned up the heat level, man. I done turned up the heat level. You know, I was at a medium last time. Now I'm at hot. I didn't get the I didn't get the Reaper. I didn't want to get the Reaper, man, because it's, as you can see, it's nice and sunny out here in Sac. It's 92 degrees outside. So I would, then wasn't trying to be out here in this heat and be on fire at the same time, literally. You know what I mean? So I just went with I just went with some slide. And I went with the hot. So, you know, I'm going to see how that do. And also, I got their number three meal. Woo! Look at that, man. Presentation A1. Which comes with one slider, added cheese, and a, a chicken tender. So, you know, I'm going to see what it do, squad. But yeah, man, I've been raving about Dave's Chicken for a while, man. It's just something about it. It's so good. And I think they're honestly better than Angry Chicks. Yeah, I said it. I can't believe I'm saying it. Because if you would have asked me a couple months ago who had the best chicken sandwich in the game, I would have told you Angry Chicks. Straight up, I would have told you Angry Chicks. But now, though, since I had Dave, Dave is killing the game, man. Name another place that has better chicken sandwiches than Dave's. I'll wait. I'll wait. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to mess with some of these fries. But yeah, squad. While y'all think about that, I'm going to go ahead and devour them. Hey, so the first, I'm going to try this tender. Whoa, it's got a little piece of bread underneath. That bread looking janky, too. Some jailhouse bread, bro. Like, what the hell? I'm going to show y'all real quick. What kind of bread is this, man? It look like... To... Why they do this? Why they even put this on there? Look. Look at that. Falling apart. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Why they even put it on this bread, man? Why do you need one slice of white bread? Why can't you just leave the tender by itself? Or throw it on a little brioche, you feel me? But I'm finna add some of this Dave sauce to it and really change the game. Cause that's how that's what we do over here. I change the game. Woo! A Dave sauce hit different. All right, squad, I'm going in. You want a bite of that? You want a bite of that little tender? Take a bite of that tender, cause it's the best tender you gonna have in your life. I give it back. Cheers, squad. Hot, not spicy hot, but I think it's right out the fryer. Damn, that's good. Dave, you know how to make some chicken, boy, I'm telling you. You gotta wipe me in now. Mm, mm, mm. This Nashville chicken hit different, man. It just hit different. Okay. So, I don't know why they add the little white piece of bread for the tender. I don't know what. What was the idea behind that? If you already get a spicy level of heat, that the bread would help counterbalance the heat. Is that why they give you this little toast? Because you don't need it. Real talk. I don't know. Either way, it's good. Crinkle cut fries with season on it. Fire. But what's popping, squad? Oh, and if you guys hear a little static noise in the background, that's my AC, man. I'm sorry. Mm. 
the camera's right by the vent. It's hot. Outside, I mean, it's 93 degrees. Not warm. And I'm eating Dave's hot chicken. You hear me? I'm craving. But it's so good. You notice I haven't even set this thing down yet. <laughs> it's been in my hand this whole time. Let me put some Dave sauce on that. On this last bite. Come here, baby. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, look at you. Mm-hmm. Mm, mm, mm. That's so damn good. Oh, pickle pickle. But what's popping squat? Hope everybody good. Another day, another dollar. As for your boy, I'm all right. A little somber. Had to take Blue to the vet today, this morning. Had to miss work and shit. But it's all good. I'm doing that for my baby. She had this, she's been having this slight little cough. And I had to, I wanted to see what was going on because she didn't have it a week ago. It just started like this past Friday. And um, so I booked her an appointment to see the vet. Woo! I'm on this slider now, y'all. And, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure she's okay. And so there's nothing, she ain't got no infection or anything. So we go there, man. She's all nervous and she. She recognized the place because we, at the beginning of the month, I had to get her vaccines. I think she was thinking that she was gonna get another shot or something, right? Ooh, hold on, let me tell you that. Dave's hot chicken. But uh, she was reluctant to go inside. I'll finally get her in there. And I'm explaining to the doctor, you know, her symptoms and what's going on. And he was like, yeah, it, it could be um, a few things. You know, it could be allergies. It could be kennel cough. Just to like being around other dogs, chemicals, dust, allergies. And it's also could be a side effect from one of the vaccines that she got. I forget the name of it, but I'm like, okay, man, I want to see what's going on because... It only she only coughs when like she gets excited or when she exerts a lot of energy. She coughs to the point like she's trying to hack something up. Doctor checks her out, checks her weight, checks her temperature, everything looking good. And then you know he's like, I would like to do some lab tests to make sure she ain't got no infection, make sure she ain't got and do a, a PC. PCR swab test or something like that, which requires her to do a swab to make sure she ain't got no bronchitis or anything. And before they do anything, they give you a list of everything that's gonna be done with the with the cost. And I got that list. I said, oh, these motherfuckers. I don't know if y'all scamming good or this is just regular, but. I had to woo saw for a minute, calm myself down, and be like, Nick, think about it like this. Pets are just like human beings, right? We get, When we get sick, we got to go to the doctors. We got to get tests done. We may need um, medications and all this stuff. That's what we got insurance for, to cover all that. But I don't have pet insurance for blue. So I was like looking at the room, I was like, damn. All right, Darla, you know what? I'm going to give a dance for my baby, man. I want my baby to be okay. Can't put a price limit on your dog's health, right? There's some things you got to take care of. So I did. I paid it. 
he did the labs he was able to get the results right in there he said she's healthy everything's look good she ain't got no infection at least not a body infection internally from now i gotta wait a couple of days for the results from the swab to come back moral of that story is like man for those that got pets you know having a pet is big business yeah this is my first pet y'all so i'm not knowing i hear stories trust me i hear stories from the homies who have pets but me dealing with it now myself whoo i'm really balling on a budget my man yeah Oh, I want my baby to be okay. So y'all keep my baby blue in your prayers. Appreciate it. But yo, Dave. How can I be down with y'all chicken spot, man? Outside of me just doing reviews on your shit. How can I be down? I want to be a part of the team. Because your shit is scrum dibbly umptious. Indubitably. That shit smacking, man. Like, this chicken sandwich is fire. I'm still waiting for y'all to tell me who has a better chicken sandwich. Because there it ain't out there. You got to come to Dave's and try this shit out. And see what I'm talking about. So, Dave got the recipe, okay? Dave found the formula. But this year, yeah, all on the side of my lip is there. I can eat this every day. I'm saying every day, okay? Fries on point. Look at that. Look at that fry. Look at the seasoning on there already. Come on, man. And they give you a dipping sauce? What? Stop playing with me, please. Stop playing with Dave and his hot chicken. Yes. But squad, yeah, man, just live life to the fullest and be happy around this motherfucker. Yeah, that's all we can strive for and to do the best that we can. Eat you some good food. Go have yourself a good time, whatever you do. Keep some good company around you. Get to the bag. Get your romance on, however you do that. And just ride this motherfucker to the wheels fall off, y'all. That's all I can say, man. Because there's so much distractions going on out here that you can get involved in quickly that's going to make you sad. Just like my goddamn Kings, man. How my Kings gonna lose game five, dude? What kind of shit was that, man? Sabonis is your fault, bruh. You saw, dog. You saw. How you let this fool Looney use you like he was? He's making you look bad, dog. And Looney is trash, homie. Looney is trash. But he was making you look even worse. Now we gotta go to game six and go win it over there in the town. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Sack about to go to Golden State and take one. Watch what I tell you. It's finicky like that in the league. Mm-hmm. Finicky. Oh, the first meal. That's what they hit for, squad. A little 15 piece. Not bad at all. For the quantity as well as the quality of food you're getting. Not bad at all. Finito. Damn, that was great. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate you. And your hardworking employees. Speaking of employees, shout out to Adana, man. 
she was a great cashier. She was respectful. She was genuine, had passion for Dave's food. She was all around a great, great cashier, man. Give Adana a raise, for sure. Cause she holding you down, Dave. Now for my review. One out of five, five being the best. Five all day. You knew that was coming. Five, what you think for, baby, five. For the crinkle cut fries, five. Overall meal, man, that was, oh, I'm satisfied. Another satisfied customer here at Dave's Hot Chicken. Good looking out, Dave. Remember, you guys, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, tap that like button, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the newest content and come be a part of the squad, man. You know, it's your boy Thompson here. I'm just doing what I do and I love doing what I do and I just try to bring y'all along with me, give you some experiences, give me a little bit of game and show you my experience at these little food spots and hopefully come and have a great experience for yourself. But yeah, you guys, Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you guys. Remember, spread love and not hate. I live by that motto, you guys. And sometimes it's hard for me. I mean, I don't spread hate, but it's seen. You know, I be in my, I be having my little attitudes at some time, but I never spread hate because I'll always change my mindset. But sometimes I have my days, but it's never on no hate, never on no hate shit. But you gotta spread love. It goes a long way and it'll come back to you tenfold. I promise you. All right, you guys. I love y'all. Be well. Stay blessed and stay hydrated. It's your boy. Peace.